All right, Andrews, what's up? Hope you are all doing good out there today. So today I want to talk a little bit about battery chargers. Now, this one here, this is a XTAR VC2 battery charger. This is a USB battery charger with a digital display. Now, I get a lot of questions on what charger do you use for your mechanical mods and for your flashlights. Because I do have some flashlights that take 18650 batteries. And most of my mods take 18650 batteries. So I was doing some research and I came across this one here because I did have an, um, a Nikkor, I believe it is, this charger right here. And it's a good charger, 4-bay, but it doesn't have a digital display. It only has the lights. So once it reaches the third light and stops blinking and all these are lit up, it's fully charged. But it doesn't show the volts. It doesn't show how many milliamps were put back into it, so on and so forth. Now... I am not a battery expert, I'm not a charger expert, I'm just sharing with you what I have, what little knowledge I do know, and what I think of the product. Now, the display on it, first of all, is really, really nice. It's very easy to read, okay? It has the dial pointers on here to show the amps, okay, the milliamps, and when it gets to 4.2 volts there with the dial pointers, it's going to be a fully charged battery. Now this one here has a little more juice in it, which it's fully charged right now. Now this should go to full right here pretty soon because this one is almost fully charged where this one here has been used. So I really like that feature on the digital display because if you buy batteries and you get them, they could be used, you just don't know. And when you get it and you pop it in here, it's going to tell you exactly how many volts it is and exactly how many milliamps it has in it or it's going to put back into it. Now, when this is done charging, both of these will read full and the display will blink two times. It'll go off, it'll blink two times, things like that. Now, if you do leave it plugged in and you do, stu you do start to lose uh, voltage it will automatically come back on and charge and then it will automatically cut off which is another nice feature really really like the display there for sure now <clears throat> on the box here this is the box that comes in this shows you all your capabilities that this charger can do for you full cutoff it also shows what this charger will charge. As you can see here, 18650, 26650, those are pretty popular batteries in the vaping community. Has your instructions, your features, your charge parameter. So, do like that. Nice box, for sure, you know, but we didn't buy it for the box, we bought it for the charger. Now, what I do notice is, it doesn't come with a wall charger, it's just a USB charger. But most of us do have cell phone devices and things like that. So you just plug this right into your cell phone device wall adapter and it will charge. But some are different. I noticed that some wall charging adapters will put out a higher amp for it to charge. Now this one here is at 5 amps, 0 0.5 amps. And uh, sometimes when I take one battery out, it will drop down to 3.5 amps depending on the wall charger that I'm using. But I do have a good one, so if I do take one out, it still stays at the 0 0.5 amps, which I do like, absolutely. So it's all going to vary on your wall charger adapter. But, you know, most people have Apple products or Android products. Most of the wall chargers are good, so just plug it right in there. I really don't use it on the computer USB. I use it more on the wall charger, so. But really nice display. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one should go to full soon. Because once it reaches the 4.2 volts, it means it's a fully charged battery. Got some ventilation here. Some more information here, right there. Made in China. And it also has a scratch inquiry here to let you know that it's authentic.
but I will put the link down below to where I did purchase it, their website. I believe it goes for like 25 bucks. And I just like the idea that it's portable. You could take it anywhere with you. And it works for my flashlights as well as my mechanical mods. Let me just look here and see if I did miss anything. I probably did. Again, I'm no expert on this, just sharing what I know. It does have a, like I said, a, a cutoff effect once it's fully charged. Short circuit, control, things like that. So I basically pretty much covered everything that I think that's important with it. It really is very easy, self-explanatory. And it is nice that if you do go and buy batteries off of the internet and you get them and it says... It is what it is, because most batteries do have the stickers on it to let you know how many volts it is, how many milliamps it is. But sometimes you'll get them and it won't be what the description is. So do yourself a favor, check them out. XTAR VC2. I like it. It's a good charger for the money, for sure. All right, Yenzers. Well, keep vaping and stay positive out there, and I'll talk to Yens later. Looking for me marbles, and I'm out.